it's skincare time only 6 p.m but it's been such a long day and you know those days where you get home and you just want to wash your face and just shut off me right now i went to the states today and i obviously went to target i went to ulta I didn't go to Trader Joe's, but I did go to Costco. Anyways, I picked up a Vanny Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser because so many of you have asked me for so long to try this. Honestly, it's a basic cleanser. It says gentle facial cleanser for sensitive skin, free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, aniline, parabens, and formaldehyde releasers, non-comedogenic, you can't really determine that, and gluten-free, accepted by the National Eczema or Eczema Association. There is a foam to it, which I like. Obviously, it doesn't smell like anything. It doesn't feel super thick on the skin. Sometimes hydrating cleansers can feel really thick even after they foam. This one doesn't. It feels nice. Because it's a basic cleanser, there's really not much expectation I can have behind it as long as it cleans my face. We're good even though i said it's a basic cleanser there's nothing wrong with being basic it gets the job done even after rinsing it off my skin doesn't feel stripped it doesn't feel hydrated but it doesn't feel stripped it just feels like skin it's my first time using it so my opinion is going to be very limited but i think if you want something gentle and effective that gets the job done and affordable good choice gonna do a bit of exfoliation with the paula's choice six percent mandelic acid and two percent lactic acid liquid exfoliant my go-to exfoliant lately it's so gentle so effective my skin doesn't react badly it doesn't burn when i put it on i do sometimes use exfoliants that as soon as you put them on you can feel your skin tingling burning and that is normal for some of them because i have seborrheic dermatitis and perioral dermatitis i prefer to use a more gentle exfoliant that doesn't have that kind of effect on my skin a new Heartleaf Soothing Toner. If I sound super stuffy, by the way, and congested, it's because it's been so sunny the last two days. I love that, but with that comes really bad seasonal allergies for me. I've been sneezing, like you cannot believe, all day. I also feel like my skin has been reacting really badly, specifically my lips all along here, here, and right here, it feels swollen and inflamed, kind of like when you're having an allergic reaction, which I am. Dr. Surical, I'm probably gonna have to take allergy medication tonight because it's not good. Caudalie grape water. By the way, if you're in Canada, Caudalie is having a sale on their website. I think it's 25% off until the 18th. Just saying. So happy they changed the atomizer on this bottle because it's literally perfection now. At a level premium. I'm still using the old formula of how to label. Once this finishes, I will try the new one, but I'm just trying to get through the stuff that I have open. A new Intense Calming Cream. I'm actually almost finished this, kind of. Hard to tell, you can see better there. I feel like I just opened it. I'm going through it pretty quickly. It's clearly one of my favorites. I don't think I have a backup for this one. Actually, maybe I do, but it's in a tube. I don't know if they changed the packaging or if that's a different product. I need to double check. Because I'm having a bit of a time with my seasonal allergies, I'm gonna put on some of the prequel skin utility ointment just on the areas where I know my skin tends to get irritated. Beside my nose, tip of my nose, because I just start sneezing and get really sniffly. Also my lips, just a bit of extra protection. Skincare done, it's only 6.20 p.m. I'm gonna go chill, relax, probably fall asleep and not have to worry about washing my face.